The energy is all around. We consume more and more energy every year. We travel more, we need to charge more devices every day. And uh, all in all, we consumed uh, in the last year somewhere around 22,000 terawatt hours. A few years ago, when we made a quick research to understand how the market is organized, we realized that up to one third of the total energy production is provided by coal, by pretty much the same coal that we used 50 years ago, 100 years ago, and 150 years ago. Then we looked at whether we have some development going on on finding a new source of energy that would virtually get us to a sustainable future. And we didn't find one. That's the problem. That's why we started all that we are doing now. This story began in 1989, in March when a conference between two chemists and physicists, Fleischmann and Pons, was held. They said they obtained nuclear fusion as a result of electrolysis of palladium in heavy water. We have checked their development and have seen good results from deuterium on titanium. That is excess heat, an extremely large amount. As a result, we confirmed that these nuclear reactions occur at low temperatures, and in principle, they can be used to produce at first thermal and then electric energy. My name is Godin Sergei Mikhailovich and I am responsible for correctness of measurement in this project. The conducted experiments demonstrate that the installation is practical, environmentally friendly and does not contain any harmful radiation. Some scientists say that this is impossible. The implementation of such an installation is tough because it is impossible to overcome the Coulomb barrier. It is true, but nature has many clever ways in which it does it. It is possible when we are faced with a phenomenon that has not yet been fully explored. And experimenters in this field are now ahead of the theorists, just like the Wright brothers who already conducted commercial flights before the theory of wing lift was written. We are also pioneers who are trying to create a commercial sample based on this phenomenon. We believe that energy must be clean, safe and distributed. And Denim is something that puts all these criteria together in the form of a portable power station. So we really believe that this is the future.